uh, for those of you who don't realize what that is, it's goddamn James Bond, motherfucker! Spectre! How do you not know what it is? This is our review, obviously, for the, the movie. movie of Spectre. The James latest Bond. James Bond movie to come out. Uh, is this number 24, is it? <laughs> It's beyond me, I have no idea. Still many more to come up. Oh, yeah. But it's a different actor now, is it? Wasn't that like Daniel Craig's last one? Well, that's what he says. Um, probably don't we'd know. have to see about that, yeah. So the main thing to see is the double holes, the double O's are essentially being wiped o out. Obsolete, aren't they? Yeah, they? yeah, yeah. yeah. But because um, Andrew Scott's character, Moriarty, basically Bastard. says like the, 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 the prehistoric, the dinosaurs, you know, so, yeah, you know, like, dumb. why have them around? And, um,. His character is trying to get on board with sort of like a, a global surveillance system, so like to unite other countries and whatnot. So, plenty of classic Bond moments in this as well. So I feel like it's the most classic Bond feeling movie yet. I like how they did that in like because that was that was the main thing about the last film, wasn't it? That they wanted to with Skyfall bring back all the old classic yeah, Bond themes yeah. like Money Penny and mm. M and Q and all that Course, kind of stuff. Yeah, and how Q's yeah. giving him all the gadgets and things. Mm. That was that was they kind of lost that with the first couple of Daniel Craig. Exactly, yeah, because Casino Royale and Quantum of Souls, as much as I um the, like the the first one, especially Casino Royale, I absolutely adore. But the thing is, after that movie, I felt like Bond was kind of going down like the Bourne yeah. films it's in like a Bourne way. Slash yeah, it's kind of like just so like style. just constantly spy and like action, 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 action. But there's no, uh, the, the, um, but but there's no like sort of like suave scenes. There's yeah. no sort of like you know Britishness. Yeah, exactly. Britishness. So <laughs> one thing I do like about this movie is I really enjoy the comedy of it. Yeah, Very, exactly. I mean, it had its light-hearted moments. Yeah. I love what I love about the way it's directed is the fact that they do a very good job of mixing it in with the drama. So you'll, you'll have something really intense, and mm. then he'll because he's James Bond, obviously he cracks off a few jokes, and you're like, ah, yeah, that's why we uh, love you. We're team man. We're team man. My only gripe would be that it kind of it felt like it slowed down, like to the midsection. Oh yeah. There's there's a point where they, they go to a certain location. Mm. They're kind of figuring out what they need to do, and mm. that's where the movie you kind of sat there in the cinema going. Do something. What's, yeah, I know, yeah. What's going on? The James Bond, why you've slowed yeah. down? What? Yeah, but say, th this movie just clocks in, I think it's roughly about like two hours and 30 minutes. I feel the certain scenes in the movie, which you could completely cut out, won't change the plot and will shave it off about by about about 20 minutes at least. So Christoph Waltz did a fantastic job as Uberhauser. Uberhauser. I love saying German names. <laughs> it's so fantastic. No, I'm about to say, that guy is born to play a Bond villain. Like everything he's ever done, which is you know been like sort of like a antagonist, it's always been you know yeah. really interesting because yeah. he's likable, he's funny, yeah, he's also intimidating and can really he, he loves his villain roles. Yeah, he can... like most of his stuff that I've I've seen, mm. he's playing the bad guy. Yeah, exactly. Going back to the whole classic Bond, mm. it it is a good classic. You've got your super villain. You've mm. got his his number one goon that's kind of pursuing oh, of course, Bond yeah, kind yeah. of thing. I'd, I'd, really, I'd really enjoy that mechanic because that's what you see in like the classic films. Mm. You know, you've got your big boss that you know Bond's got to go for eventually. Exactly, yeah, But he's yeah. got to go through that first hurdle of getting rid of the big guy that's yeah, exactly. like Top but, Gun. But because like in classic Bond movies, you've got like Oddjob, you've got like Jaws, you've got... Uh, Scar uh, well, Scaramanga was a main villain, wasn't he? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But with this one, we've got Mr. Hinks, which is played by um, Dave Bautista. Last, last time we saw him was in Guardians of the Galaxy, so it's nice to see that he's getting more sort of like. The first thing I do when he comes yeah. on screen, I'm like, Drax, Drax, no, <laughs> why are you a good guy now? Yeah. He doesn't say a lot of lines. He hasn't got a Not lot of. Not really, no. All, besides, you know, mm. his, his few sort of end pieces that he does. Yeah, exactly, yeah. He's got many good fight scenes as well. Yeah, well, yeah, that's yeah. because he's a big guy. Obviously, yeah, exactly. It's be like, yeah. We 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 paid for this actor. He's fine in a he's suit. He's a big guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. put him in a suit, and make him punch, <laughs> make stuff. him ru uh, race some cars. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Another point as well. What do you think of the uh, the ladies in the movie? Because I found the main so like let's call it Bond girl. Um, it was fantastic. Acting yeah, was great. It's incredible. You know, yeah. V very believable character. With Spectre, we do have some callbacks to the other Daniel Craig movies. Uh, so like Casino Royale, you got Skyfall in here as well through certain characters, but it really does help if you've seen the other ones. And, you know... Well, yeah, because, I mean, yeah. in, the, in the final act, they, they reference a lot of, like, the previous villains and oh, stuff yeah, exactly, and how, yeah. it, how they all tie in with, mm. uh, with Daniel Craig's double O. Hmm. Story, like story arc. Yeah. But overall, Spectre was fun. It's funny. It's got great action. Maybe on the long side, but overall, it's definitely a good time. So um, it's definitely something I would want in my collection um, on oh, the Blu-ray as soon as up. possible. Yeah. So more gameplay stuff coming, and we also have more movies on the way. So keep an eye out. 
Right, yeah. And if you enjoyed, just quickly, if you enjoyed this video, we do have a spoiler version of this video coming up as Which well. Coming up right so here, there will be annotation, maybe around Jake's face here. But. <laughs> <laughs> Take care, guys. Bye.